All right, well, here we are starting out the first day of the South Carolina pig hunt. You can see we got boats ready because you can't get any further. This is it. Every road from, I mean, we are not even a quarter mile into this six mile long WMA and we cannot go any further. The whole thing is completely flooded out. We parked back there. There's a couple other people here. John's back there on the other side of that last black one behind the white one. He's getting his uh, bow together and we're going to head out and see if where we can get to and what we can and can't do and what's we you know we got to figure some stuff out could be a long day of paddling uh not sure we're gonna find out though yep we got john ready to head out here it is making south carolina pig hunting happen and <laughs> right there's a car behind us that is the destination a few miles down there Okay, me and John are down here. We're in South Carolina hunting pigs here, and we've already been into pigs this morning. We went into another area that we can't get into very well, but we've been into, we've seen about five pigs so far. He's drawn back on one, no shot yet. But so far, it's been an incredible day. This place is way over flooded, so it's very hard to, to hunt with little bitty pockets, very small pockets. But look at this one I'm in. Look at, look at how wrecked this area is that I am in right here. I mean, just awesome. So I'm just working my way through here. It's very thick, very briary, and a pain in the butt, as you can see, but um, the hog sign in here is insane. So we're gonna keep at it. Like I said, we've only been here three hours, you know, in South Carolina for three hours. It's already going good. So we got a few days, we're gonna see what if we can't uh, put a couple pigs in the freezer. Now there is some pretty fresh pig poop, so hopefully we can find a guy who made that.
All right, we are in day, day two, and uh, we just got out here, poured, it was raining. It, you know, I don't mind, obviously, it's raining right now. I'm still hunting, we hunt in the rain all the time, but uh, this morning from 6 a.m. until 8 a.m., it was raining a half of an inch of rain per hour, torrential. So we just decided to, uh, you know, sit back at, at the hotel room and wait it out. And so now it's 10 o'clock, we are out here. New area we've never been to yesterday was phenomenal. We were into pigs nine times. Uh, every group was multiple pigs. Uh, you know, we had a great time. I did fire one shot, missed by deflection, 23-yard shot through a little gap and in, in the real thick stuff. And But I had a good gap, solid gap. But uh, apparently there was a stick somewhere down there that I didn't see, and I, that arrow was flying perfect. And then the last minute, it just dropped right into the ground, um, you know, hitting a stick. But, uh, but we had a great day yesterday. We are saving that spot. Uh, to go back to tomorrow and spend some time or later today and today we're in a new area so I uh, had to paddle in here we're gonna see what it's like and uh, John is up high we are running this whole swamp edge kind of thing and yeah uh, I'm down on the bottom he's up on the top and uh, so we're gonna see what happens so here we go Yeah, I, I wouldn't shoot this, Mom. Yeah, she got four. Look at that, four, five. Five little bitty dudes. How cute. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six there. I mean, they're so little, they won't even leave the nest, and we're 15 feet away. Just kicked their mom out. Those things would fit in the palm of your hand. John found this uh, very cool turtle shell. Look, you can see all the way through it. That thing is completely hollowed out. Look at how nice that turtle shell is. That is awesome. Very cool find. He had to, you know, he had to outdo my two sheds <laughs> that I found and come back with a freaking turtle shell. Well done, bud. All right, here we have John. Regluing his boots because they're leaking so he went and bought shoe goop and he is repairing them here in the hotel trying to make them work uh because he's had wet feet for two days stuff drying up here rain gear drying stuff going we got stuff laying all over the place putting arrows together um but so far it's been a uh it's been a good couple days chick-fil-a for dinner worked out really well um but we have we hunted today Today was phenomenal. We This morning we skipped because it was raining pretty hard this morning. I mean, torrential, like half inch a, an hour kind of rain. So we didn't get out there until a little bit later, but we went out got it done. Um, we saw, I don't even know, we were into pigs, what, four times? Yeah. Four times, into pigs four times. Uh, I got one more shot. I did get a shot. I missed one yesterday by deflection, and I missed another one today by deflection. Uh, this stuff is just so thick. And uh, these pigs, I mean, it's tough because it, it, it's thick. I, I've said it in the, the one from last year, too. It, it is hard. Uh, getting in on them is not that tough. As you saw in the video, John was... I mean, he's, he was seven yards away from pigs in that briar patch and couldn't do nothing about it. You saw it earlier in the video from yesterday. Uh, but that's kind of how it is. It's tough. When you see these pigs, you can get in close to them, but you cannot shoot. And, and it's not just can't get the shot. Uh, the deflection uh, yesterday, deflection arrow goes, hits, goes down. This one arrow hit a you know, branch you don't see or something you don't see. But you're shooting these little bitty pockets. And um, it, it's tough conditions, not going to lie, for a bow hunter. Now, if we were running 
rifle hunting, what would you say, John, if we were shooting guns, how many pigs do you estimate we'd have on the ground right now? Very eight, real. Eight. Yeah, eight, probably eight pigs, you know, between the two of us. Four, solid four each. We could have killed with rifles. Um, and I'm talking close range. I'm talking inside at 25 yards. But having a rifle that you could, you know, literally just straight line of sight through this stuff, uh, we'd have been crushing it. So, um, fantastic hunt so far. We're halfway through. We got two more days. We're going to give it a whirl and see what happens. Got all the stuff right here. Got to uh, restock my uh, my gun here and put one more arrow in there and uh, get her all loaded up. And uh, we are going to uh, be out there and give it a whirl again tomorrow. So we'll keep you in a loop and let you know what happens. We got pigs right in there. I can't get to them. There's no way for me to get to them. This river cane is just too thick here. I mean, there's just no possible way, but they're right at that tree. Right there, I think, is where they're bedding, but no way for me to even remotely, you know, get to them through this. Just not even an option. So we're going to have to uh, come back through here a little later, hope to catch them rooting around here. But they are bedded right there. Southern swamps are just so beautiful. Doesn't get any better than that. We got pigs right there, you can hear them. Again, I don't know how I can get get into them. All right, we got pigs. I just jumped them out of this bed. There was one pig bedded right here. I came from right there. But look how thick this is. How nasty thick here. And uh, he was bedded right there. I can still hear them over there. But if you look at this, yeah, they're still there. Hear them. I don't know if you can hear them. How am I going to get over there? I mean, I'm down on my knees right now. I mean, I'm down like this trying to look under this stuff. I don't know how to get into there. Oh. Uh, I mean, he wasn't 15 yards when he jumped, and I was moving as quiet as I could, but <clears throat> the ground is dry, and the stuff is so thick you can't see, let alone walk through. Look when I stand up. <clears throat> I mean, this is brutal. This is just brutal. I just kicked them across the water. Not sure if you can hear that, but they're crossing the water right out there. Hear them? Two pigs. I just caught up to them again. Two pigs. But, I mean, they were 30 yards away from me in this. And I kicked them across the water. <sighs> The boat is working absolutely fantastic. Cruising right along through the swamps, right down this road. Hard to paddle with one hand while I'm recording, but beautiful country. And this little boat is absolutely perfect. Very stable, a lot of room in it. Not gonna lie, I really love this boat for this type of a trip. All right, walking back to, I just had to go back to the car, refill my water, grab, well, I chugged two waters, ate a Lunchable and grabbed another water and in my pocket and heading back to the boat here, which is down here. It is our third day. I've uh, been into pigs three times today, no shots. Um, again, you gotta understand what you're, this is what you're hunting in, okay? I mean, look at this, that was wide angle. Let's put you back on, uh, let's look at it from my point of view here. I mean, imagine this, okay? This is where they are here. So you're trying to get a shot 
through this stuff. I mean, give you an example. I mean, that pine tree right there is about nine yards from me. So you can see what I'm talking about. So that's what all of this stuff is. And uh, it's just super tough. And um, I'm two shots in, you know, I got one shot each day, the first two days. And, uh, you know, like I said, look at this. But both shots were uh, deflection, you know. You look and you're going, okay, I got a gap. I can, you're looking at it like this and you're going, okay, well, uh, let's see here, right through, you know, you're, you're looking and you're going, oh, I can get it right through there. And then you try to shoot and then, uh, you know, you end up dropping, a, you know, hitting a stick and getting deflected. So, um, it's been a, uh, it's been an adventure here. It was the same thing last year, same kind of thing. It's just really tough. And today it's, it's 74 degrees, uh, 73 degrees, I think is what I said it's supposed to get to, something like that. Some, like 70 something here. Um, and look at even a water line. See how far back this John's truck is? This water line was all the way up there where they kind of stopped being damp right in front of his truck. And it has receded this far down and uh, at the point my boat's actually beached right there and uh but anyway john is down there we found a spot me and him went back paddled down here about uh pretty close to a mile three quarters of a mile found a spot that looked pretty good and uh john was in there it looked so good but you can't double hunt you can't both hunt together in this stuff again you're in this kind of stuff so you can't do it it's a one person deal especially when it's so dry so i left uh um, I left John in there and I went down to try and find another spot. It was all flooded and uh, so I decided all right I'm just gonna come back. I'm out of water Grabbed water got my stuff together. Everything's here in my boat, and then I'm going back to the uh, um, Area we were in originally and uh, gonna see what I can find in there But you know, it's it's uh, like I said a lot of fun. It is a great adventure <coughs> It is beautiful weather Right now at home it is still starting to get nice, but it is still snow on the ground there. About a foot of snow on the ground at home. So it's a nice little break and a nice little change. We got the rest of tonight, this evening, which is about four hours left. And uh, then we got all day tomorrow. So we'll see what happens and see how it goes. All right, we'll keep you updated. Story of my life when I'm out here. Try as hard as I want. I just cannot avoid being soaked. No two ways about it. All right, here we are, uh, ready to launch in for the last day. Uh, we don't got too super far to go. John's down here by the truck finishing his stuff up right now. We gotta grab his kayak. His kayak's buried here in the woods. Uh, right there. And mine is here. You can see the water lines resided quite a bit already here. Uh, my boat's just kind of already floating away. Where are we going here? Sorry. But, uh, yeah, just floating it down the edge of the road until we hit that spot and then cruising back in there a ways. But, uh, it is, uh, just getting to be about legal shooting light here in the next five, eight minutes. And, uh, we're going to try and get in on these pigs and see. Like I said, last hurrah day. This is it. It's last shot. Um, we haven't decided if we're going to stay all day because we do got a 17 hour drive home. Uh, so we may bail out at uh, midday, depending, or uh, stick around. You know, if we're getting into pigs, good. Then maybe we'll stick around till the till dark. So we haven't decided yet. But last day, last chance here in South Carolina. We'll see what happens. Wonder why we were even bother wearing knee high rubber boots because we are way past rubber boots. But just not giving up we tried we made it a little ways now we are just soaked finally getting up to high ground uh, be dumping water out here in a minute well that's what you get i guess you try and here we go again day two the same thing doesn't matter how hard you try if you're only wearing knee-high boots, you're just not going to make it. Well, here we go. Second time today. Completely soaked. The water in those boots. Yep, like I said, never a dull moment. We have hawks right over there. I just busted them out. They were in here. I tried to sneak up. They saw me. 
or winded me and ran down this way. They are right over there, right there. Problem is my wind is going this way. I cannot get past the river again, and I cannot go up there. My wind will get them. I need to stay right here and hope that they come across over here and give me a chance. He is bedded right at the base of that tree, right down there. That's where he's bedded, right at the base of that tree. All right, that hawk. That hog busted out the backside. <sighs> the wind here is horrible. Three days right now it's going that way. In two minutes it'll go that way. Another minute it's gonna go that way. Occasionally it's gonna go that way. I cannot beat the wind here, feel it right now it's going this direction. When I was just standing right there, I told you it was going that way. Like I said, I cannot beat this wind here. And it is brutal, and this terrain is brutal. And it's making it really hard. But that pig was right over there on that point, And he popped out that way. I heard him cross the water. Because it is so difficult here. I think I'm going to sit idle for about 15 minutes here. And wait it out. Give me a chance to take my back off for a minute. But I'm going to sit here for about 15 minutes or so. Then I'm going to try and sneak my way up around that way. See if I can, the water becomes the issue. Um, you know, this whole thing's flooded out, so we're gonna see what happens. All right, you can see John up there walking his boat out right there. And you can see his truck there, we are done. We are heading out right now, and uh, this road that we are on used to be uh, paddle only. When we got here, this thing was flooded for miles and miles, and it's still flooded back there, but as you can see, it's, uh, you know, still snake boot deep, you know, I'm getting through it kind of thing here, but, uh, um, but yeah, we had a great trip, great, great, ooh, getting close though, uh, great few days, four days down here, we hunted for four days, we saw, I'll bet I saw, I'll bet I saw 50 pigs, uh, a lot of times in groups of four or five, six, but I'll bet I saw 50, 50 to 60 pigs total, I don't think two hours went by that we were not into pigs, either, you know, one of us, me or John. I fired two shots, missed both of them by deflection off of branches. Again, it's so thick and nasty in here. Uh, John had the same thing happen to him last night. He got a shot, missed by deflection, uh, and that was it. And uh, we just ended it. We had uh, a bunch of pigs come by us today as well, too. Like I said, just, you know, we gave it everything we got. Had a fantastic trip. Uh, but it, it's hard here. I had the same thing. If you watch my other uh, video for South Carolina last year, the same exact place, uh, same kind of thing. I saw like 30 pigs last time in two and a half days, um, and I got one shot. Uh, I think it was. I think I got one shot, and same thing, missed by deflection. Uh, like I said, you're just you know tough hunt, uh, but a fun hunt. Fully, you know. An amazing trip anyway probably be back next year maybe we'll see what happens in georgia uh or what's going on but it's nice because this is where pretty much everything else is closed down for pig hunting because small game season is over and then they have this specialty hunt down here so it kind of makes it pretty nice and uh we'll see what happens but hope you enjoyed the video and uh thanks for watching and we'll be back with more stuff soon talk to you later bye